First of all, okay, I'm, I'm a little hot here. I got to check this, turn this down, turn me down a little bit. Can you still hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you good. <clears throat> and you're hot too. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> I know I'm hot, but Yeah, you are hot, man. You're hot. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. You ready? Yep. All right. All right. Talking tunes, and we're here with Mr. G Man himself, Greg Gregory T. Roberts. And uh, how you doing, Greg? What's up, man? All right. Welcome, welcome to um, Locked in the Cage 2.0. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about here. That's what uh, kind of the new norm, I guess, is what what we should talk about because it, it it's not going to change anytime soon. So, uh, what, not. What, for quite a while. Yeah. So, so what have you been doing to to make this uh, uh, somewhat normal for you? Well, one of the things that I've been doing is I, I'm I'm on a weight challenge. Um, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that my weight stays up. Stays up. <laughs> yeah, stays up. Okay. You know, I want to be big as a tugboat when I when this thing is over. <laughs> I want to be able to make a splash in a, a pool, a puddle of water. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I'm working on my weight. I want to keep my weight up. I mean, you figure in, in a pool, in a pool, you you know, you could be the only one in there anyway because you can't have more than you know, one person in at, at anything. So there you go. You, you there could be, you go. You could just clear the water out so nobody else could have any fun. It'd be great. Well, the other thing is, though, if you live by Muskegon Lake or Lake Michigan, you got all the water you need. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, we're flooded over here. So yeah. Not. yeah. I had a little lake in my yard too, but anyway. No, but uh, things are great. Uh, the, the biggest thing is, is that you're more aware of. You look at people and and what if they touch and if they sneeze, everybody looks and turns around, and it's really weird. It's like some goofy science movie. Yeah, you know, you know, sh- sharing each other blood. We're testing medicines before I mean, it's proved. It's like it's some zombie movie's going to happen out of this. I, mean, I, I don't want to speak the last doom feral uh, plague, but it's this is really weird. Man. It is, and you know the, the I don't know if you watched the Netflix special they had on on uh, coronavirus, but uh, that just made me feel worse because they they talk about all this stuff comes from bats. And bats just, you know, pass it on to other animals, other animals pass it on to humans, and it kind of becomes a, a virus. And they said that there's like four or five other strains that are about to happen. It's like, oh, good, good, can hardly wait. Yay. Well, there's some, Thanks for there's, clearing things up for me. <laughs> there are several strands that are that we don't know of, but Oscar, I hate to be the guy that said that the smoke came from the grass, you know, but I believe this came out of a... This came out of a lab. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Well. And the uh, reason it is, is because this act, this germ acts like so, like nothing we've ever seen. It, it's, it's taking like the worst of AIDS and, and this. So somebody was just taking the worst of everything and put it together and went, oops. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I, I, you know, that's just my thought. But, you well, know, there's who, a lot of, who there's... am I? There's definitely a lot of thoughts out there. Of course, you know, people are, I've, I've heard people, you know, saying this is a whole government plot. I mean, you know, it, it's just. It's oh, yeah. Just, I've seen that. Yeah. It's, seen, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Well, also that um, people saying that this is radiation poison for 5G. What's it? Say you that? haven't heard that one. No. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. That they didn't test uh, 5G. And they're testing it, and because it has to be so strong, people are getting sick from 5G. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't laugh at it, because who knows? <laughs> who knows? Uh, 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 what, uh, this is what I know. I can tell you what I know. All right. I, I believe it came from a lab, number one. Two, I know that we are not being told the truth by our government at all. Yeah. And if we knew the truth, we would. You think the, the toilet paper aisles and the fights at Myers have been bad? Yeah. Um, it, people couldn't handle the. You couldn't handle, handle the, the truth. truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I, I don't I don't know what to say. I mean, that's the whole problem with this thing, too. The whole pandemic is not just the pandemic. It's just the people that are saying, what the heck's going on, you know? So right. That, that's the right. whole thing. It's like nobody really, nobody's ever faced this before. I mean, they say, okay, yeah, back in, what, 1918 or something like that, there was right, a pandemic. Right, 1918. And, and, but it, I don't... I don't know if the history books repeat, you know, report it like this. I, I don't know. I don't know because I say once I mean, they say once you build your immune system up. I mean, if you get it and you build and you and you you know live, then your immune immune system is is fine and you can't get it again. But I don't know if I want to take that chance. <laughs> that the, see that right there. They don't. They're not sure about that. Yeah, I know. And That's not a sure cases thing. Cases where people who, who went through it have caught it again. Yeah. So oh, really? you don't even know if you're safe that way. Yes, I haven't heard that part. Do you say people have actually caught it again that had it before? Yes. Oh, I haven't heard that yet. Okay. That's a new one yeah. for me. Yes. Um, uh, there, I was watching a story uh, a week ago, a woman, three times. Wow. Three, three, three times. So the thing is that, you know, people, I know you, people are talking about, their rights and stuff like that. Um, you know, wear the mask. Yeah, um, I know that that's just, the, that's the thing that drives me crazy. Is people. I got a discussion on Facebook just the other day about that, and it's like, you know, you're not wearing them just just for you. You're wearing them for the other people around you. You know, and they just don't seem to understand that. It's like, well, I can't breathe in it. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I can't breathe in it. You know, you're in the store for twenty the, minutes. Come on. <laughs> I know you're you wearing the gloves and the mask to for the next person. Yeah. Just be considerate. Right. Well, it's my right. To, uh, you know what? Wear it. Be considerate for the next person. Right. That's, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's you know, like I say, I, I, Terry and I was telling uh, Paul the story about went to uh, to call to uh, a, a, a restaurant. I won't say the name. I almost did, but anyway, a restaurant and. Uh, I, you know, looked in the drive through window, and there's a bunch of people working on the food, and some are wearing masks, some are, but some of them have them pulled down past their nose, or, you know, or some had them off completely, but they had the mask around their neck. I'm thinking, yeah, that's doing a lot of good around your neck, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went to a store yesterday, and the woman had a mask and had the, the shield um, collecting the money with no gloves. Yeah, and she sneezed, and oh. get, then gave Emily the receipt. I was like, throw the receipt away. Yeah, good thing don't she even, had gloves on. Don't even take the receipt. Forget that. <laughs> I know, oh. I know, and and so you you're so aware of that. Um, uh, I do want to take this time to tell people, look, man, if you're depressed if you're by yourself, you just make sure you you call and or anyone that's out there. Make sure you're calling your friends. Make sure you're calling your seniors. Uh, make sure you got some food and you get, and feed your neighbors. It's a great chance and an opportunity to, uh, for this country for us to get to know our neighbor. Yeah. You know, we're you know? going we're gonna to start doing something, too, where we're going to do, like, little carpool things where people come over in the car and we sit out, you know, now that's getting nice sit outside and, and talk to them. They'll stay in their car and we'll stay in our yard. You know, it's uh, just to talk to somebody face to face is sort of face to face is, uh, is just a, a much more norm thing to do than what we're all doing with these days, you know, with well, phones yeah, and FaceTime. And we've been doing the, the, the zoom meetings, but we've been, well, we, we've also been doing the parades at nursing homes and, doing birthdays for people with signs and stuff just to lift their spirits and stuff like that. And people be careful because the first thing you want to do is get out of the car and hug somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, you know, the thing is is that, my thing is is that we really need to be careful. The days of um, large venues, sporting, sporting events and concerts, until they find a virus, you might go to uh, some concert, and, and it used to be sixty people, and it might be sixteen now. Right. You know? right. So, yeah, I mean, these are things that you. It, it has everything to do about your safety. 
Well, yeah, when you know, I was talking to Beth uh, Beeman a few weeks back, and she said that, I asked her, I said, well, you know, at the Playhouse, if you do open up, if you get the okay to open up, uh, how, what are you going to separate people? Are you only going to sell like, you know, 10 seats or something, something, separate people? You know, she doesn't really know. At the time, she didn't really know what she was going to do then either because and are people going to show up, you know? I, I wouldn't. I mean, not nothing against the, the Playhouse or anything else, but I'm sorry, any group of people, I'm, I'm not going to be there, you know? No, no. And, and you know, like, if you look at, for instance, the size of the church that we go to, it, it's 900 people. And it, it's so it's large enough where they, they split the service up into uh, three different services. Even then... They have too many people. They they will have to run like five or six services. Yeah, well, you know, uh, you, you know what? Uh, uh, a friend of mine, uh, he got an AM transmitter from me that I had because their their uh, parish. What they're doing is they're running a, a an AM transmitter and transmitting it to you know to your radio. So yeah, you had, he's so a good you sit of mine. yeah, so you'd sit outside in the in your in the parking lot of the church. And you could pick up the signal as far as the the the, the priest or the or the uh, um, you know whoever is giving the sermon, or reverend, or, reverend, yeah, right, so, yeah. So I mean that was kind of kind of a cool idea. And of course, there's tons of them right now that are doing it on Facebook, you know, right. And, uh, so and and, then, and you can't even get those parts those those transmitters. You can buy them, yeah. But the thing is, is that a lot of this stuff is on back order because. Everybody's trying to do the same thing. Right, right. I and, just happen, you know, I just happen to have one, believe it or not, from Bud Kelly of TV40. He gave it to me to that, use. So <laughs> that, 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 that was some years, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope it still works. So, yeah. <laughs> that, that's some years and that's some dust. How yeah. long did that stay right now? Hey, it was transistor, so, you know, at least it's, <laughs> it's of that age anyway. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the new norm, it, it, it's, you know, it's a good, it, you know, my thing is, is, you know, what was meant for evil, let God get the glory. And so let's take it and make something good out of this thing that, you know, it's it's okay to laugh. You know, people, you know, are so serious. It's okay to smile. You know, it, it, it's it's okay to be friendly to people. Um, it's going to be interesting because now a lot of things are going to start to open. And yeah. so it's going to be interesting to see how people stay six feet. And, um, well, they, they've already, we, they've already closed the beaches again in Florida. They tried doing it in Florida and they already closed the beaches because people wouldn't, wouldn't behave, I guess, you know, well, kids, kids won't behave. You know that if I was well, a kid, I would, I would even pay attention to this, you know? Well, what you got to find out as soon as they open it up around here, too, the same thing's going to happen. Right. And the, the thing it is, is happening, that, though, Greg. I mean, I I go down to the to the beach all the time with you know with my windows closed and just to look at the the scenery. And there's kids out there, you know, on skateboards and hanging out with each other, each kid, and you know, it just I I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, and the, and the thing is, again, you 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 try to govern. You know, the governor said, yeah, you know, wear masks. Um, the the presidents they recommend that you do wear masks. They don't even though they don't wear them. anyway. <laughs> yeah, they don't wear them. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, it, it's, it's I I just think if you look at the numbers across the world, the places that, that wore masks. Are, are really tight about not only that testing but tracing and stuff like that are the places that are 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 doing better than we are. Yeah. And the thing is also is it's crazy that now we're talking about stuff like tracing and lowering the curve and, and all this stuff. We were before they were talking about Blues Brothers and Blazing Saddles. Yeah. And so, so now we're talking all these the scientific terminology that just makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Blues Brothers and uh, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway. how, so how many things have you watched now since this whole pandemic thing? I mean, I've watched just about every movie over again twice, you know, just. 
Usually you know, at night, when I finally got to wind down, I'll watch some some stupid comedy just because you know, like Young Frankenstein or Blazing Saddles oh, or man. American Pie or just just to you know. I did, yesterday I watched uh, uh, Happy Gilmore. You know, I just uh, I, I just waited the for the scene where he he uh, him and Bob Barker got in a fight. You know, Adam Sandler. Oh, and Bob Barker. that's the best. <laughs> well, my my thing my thing is is that. Um, because, you know, I am a political analyst that, you know, I, I try to stay up on the news and all that kind of stuff, but it just got old, man. Yeah, I can't, yeah. you know, I can't do it I can't anymore. either. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. The, the, when you heard, when you said about uh, people that have got it, have got it again, I didn't hear that. I just been kind of tuning out for a while. You got to. I mean, it, it's too much. It's on my phone. It's on my TV. It's on, It's everywhere, you know. You don't know who's telling you the truth. Right. Who's spending what? Right. And, and so my so my thing is is that I there uh, what I've done is I've turned off the TV. Yeah. So did I. And I what I do is I watch fifteen minutes of national news and I watch half hour of local news. And and um, that's it for the day. Oh, okay. So you're not watching any any like the, like Tiger King or anything like that then, huh? Oh, uh, you know, there were so many recommendations to watch it, and then when I saw the plot, it was like, there is no way I'm going to watch Tiger King. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I was thinking... Now, I, I, might dress, I might dress up as Tiger King. Well, I, I was going to say that, you know, since I'm cutting my own hair these days, I, it's hard to get hard to get the back, so I might be walking around with a mullet here soon, you know? <laughs> hey, I'll cut your hair from long distance. And I'll be at with this man. <laughs> so, so I can't guarantee you know from six feet cutting your your hair I with know, long cloth might be kind of rough. We'll use like a big pole or something with the, the cutters. <laughs> a yeah, big pole. yeah <laughs> a big pole. That's my back, hey, right? That's a, my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have big pole, a vacuum, and it's a, <laughs> it'll, it'll Ouija board. I don't know a Ouija but board. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, it just. You know, how are people doing the social distancing? How are people going to get haircuts? You know, the thing is, it, I knew, I, you know, because I was in the food industry, how strict things were back then. Yeah. I don't, I can't imagine how strict things are going to be now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, some of the stores that I've went in before, you know, the, the they're see like even Walmart they seem to be doing a really good job as far as you know separating people and doing things like that. And like I said, I've even had uh, pharmacists that thank me for wearing a mask in there because they don't have the they didn't have at the time they didn't have the little sign saying you got to wear a mask to come in the store. And you know, it's like it's it's kind of you know weird that getting thanked for doing something like that, considering you know they're putting their lives online every day, you know, waiting on customers. Uh so I, I, no, I think that's a great subway, uh, uh, not subway, Sedway. Subway? Um, you hungry? <laughs> yeah, this is a good subway. Uh, no, so, Today's uh, show is brought to you by Subway. To, <laughs> for everybody to make sure when you go into a store to thank them for being open. Yeah, I agree. Um, if you get food, thank them for the food. You go into a store or you go to a meat store and they're, they're doing the protocol. So many people, social distancing, thank them. Every nurse, doctor, firefighter, EMT, police officer, uh, people that are testing, thank them. Um, this is no joke for anyone that says, well, this is just something like the flu. Okay, you know what? Um, you're just saying that right now because it ain't hit your area, the suburbs, yet. Yeah. But if you were down in the Detroit area, yep. you'd take it a lot more serious. Oh, yeah. But it really hit home for me because I've lost several people that I know. Hmm. And my my daughter, the other day, had to take the test. Thank God she came back negative. Good. Um, but she works at Spectrum Hospital. Yeah. And so... Who am I living, trying to live for? Who am I wearing that mask for? Yep. Who am I wearing the gloves for? Savannah Roberts. That's who I'm trying to do that. Yep, yep. And, and then, what do you do when you have, I have two daughters 
that are engaged now. One, one another daughter who's kind of like my daughter. Um, so there's three people engaged and two that are going to be married. What do you do? Right, right. I know. I, I've had I've had some people that, of course, lost loved ones, and they had to postpone their you know the funeral because you can't have anybody to for the funeral. So it's a, you know memorial, whatever, whenever. And then right. uh, and and one person that lost their brother and can't go see him because you know <laughs> you can't. So. I yeah yeah, and until they get a hold. Um, the great thing is, is that they have so many people working on a virus. Um, and the great thing is that they're starting to learn something that a will cure help. for the virus. You mean, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. A, a cure for the virus. You don't need any more <laughs> viruses. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we don't. Um, unfortunately, get ready. Yeah. I know. Um, but um, there are a lot of people working, and they're they're working together to come up with a cure. Right. They're starting to learn of some medications that help the people that are severely um, in the hospital um, sick. Um, so um, slowly, very cautiously, there's you know coming up with a few things. May I say this though? Do not use bleach. Pine saw, or it, or take any lights or probes. Uh, no, that was a misquote. Yeah, and don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you just, you just, I don't know. You, you got to watch what you say about any to anybody. I guess these days, <laughs> because you, you, yeah, people are so scared. Yeah, and, and, and they'll like try that. anything to to avoid it. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also you have to be careful, too. You know, I, I guess we're, you know, this is to inform people. Make sure, you know, do not be giving out your Social Security number. No. Oh, yeah. Do not yeah, be giving yeah. out your Medicare number. Right. I mean, do not There's be so giving out so many scams going on. Isn't, it, isn't that crazy when you when, when things are down and, and people are in this this terrible situation that there's people out there saying, oh, boy, I can make some money on this and scam some people. I just, like, what, what are these <laughs> where do these people come from? Who raised these yeah. people? Yeah. It's it's like those guys that bought those 17,000 masks. Yeah, yeah. And the government caught them. And, like, okay, you got to donate them, and you go into court. Well, look at look at and, on Facebook. They got, they got those uh, Pink Floyd. I mean, they're very cool. You got Pink Floyd masks. They got all kinds of different masks you can buy that, that – uh, Especially made, you know, and it's like they're any better than any the little paper mask. But you know, they're selling it for like twenty bucks a piece. I'm thinking, what? Are you guys yeah. nuts or what? Yeah, in every every situation, somebody's going to see be out there scamming and trying to make a buck. Yeah. It's sad, you know. That's sad, but you know, in this new norm, is the thing is, is that we can see take care of yourself. It's not selfish. Take care of your loved ones. Um, be considerate of people. Watch out for scams. Don't waste your time arguing with anyone on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I fell into that once, but I tried not to follow it again. Yeah, it's not worth it. it. It's not worth it. And some of them, it's a big purge. You might have to unfriend a whole bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. You know, but. Uh, the good news is is that we're still here, um, and and my wife is looking for a SWAT team to get her out of the house with me. Yeah, because um, I'm about driving her crazy. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the thing is, I told him my job is to keep you safe. Yeah, yeah. And and, I'm sure she and, says, "Oh, goody." <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. She, she's like um, one of our daughters is uh, dealing with some ailments, and she's like. We, I got to go take care of our daughter. And it's like, oh, man, I don't want to argue about the, the mother bear. Right, right. Uh, you know, but you're going to wear gloves. You're going to wear a mask. Right. You got to take an extra set of clothes with you. Right. You got to take a shower before you go. I mean, it's weird conversations like that we, you got to have. And you can't hug your kids. And yeah. It's nuts. I, but you're I, good. I know I I got a bunch of a 
bunch of clothes that are old and in war that I'm wearing over and over again because you know you you're washing them all the time you know so it's like well, I just we I use my old beat up most of my clothes are old beat up anyway but still you know <laughs> <laughs> my thing is is that I I'm, I'm doing the same thing that you know I'm going to do my thing is I'm staying in the house so why am I gonna get dressed in uh, yeah, yeah. Clothes to go out. Wear a tie, Greg. You know? Wear a tie. Huh? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but the thing is, is that it's get to the point where we're starting to lose days. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're starting to forget days. It happened to us again this week. We thought it was we thought it was Thursday. And it was Wednesday, <laughs> and so uh, you know, stay on a schedule. Eat properly. Try to get in some moderate exercise. Moderate, nothing too strenuous, like a walk or something. Yeah. Even if it's a walk day, uh, whatever. But this is your new norm. Yeah. Yeah. Until a vaccine comes out. Yep. And we're all waiting. <laughs> yeah. We're we're all all waiting. Can't say it enough, though. Check on people. Because there are a lot of lonely people out there. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, and, even um, even as far as you know, us, you know, as far as you know, this what's keep this is what keeps me kind of going too. A lot of times is doing this show just to do it, just to keep it uh, keep it out there and and keep my head, you know, on something else besides what's going on around here. So, and we appreciate you, man. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is um, on Facebook is is that. I've been encouraging um, yeah, musicians I, to get on. I and, noticed. And, yeah, as you, as you know, is get musicians on and do concerts. Yeah. Well, you know, I saw and, I saw Carter Moore on the other day, and it was nice to see Carter back on, too, because that guy that guy's very talented. You know, he's, he, he can do, he can play just about anything. So, you know. Yeah, Car- Carter is a talented um, guy. Yeah. Um, and he's, and he's, he's in Vegas. Yeah, I know. I know. And so he's he's going live now, and of course Lou Ross and Deneen and uh, Jimmy went live the other day, and and so you and uh, Alex Posner, um, Tony, and I mean I, I could think of a whole bunch of guys, a whole bunch of people yeah. that are going live, and uh, and they're doing their part just to keep you entertained. And right. If you have some something, um, you do it too. And it's something for them too to keep them keep their mind off of what's going on too. I think is to entertain like that to feel like they're 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 giving something back. You know, it, oh, it's yeah. got to make you them feel see, good too. Right. You should see my living room. I got electrical equipment and you know, all over the place, and my wife wants a living room back. <laughs> she can't have it back. <laughs> I got my basement, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, everything down here is flooded, so yeah, yeah. Oh, that goes oh, that idea. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, uh, yeah, um, that's true. You're, that's why. That's what you get from living by Lake Michigan, there. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> hey, I, I'll take the train. Yeah, I know, know, I know. Yeah, you know, I, we we but, go uh, right down to White Lake every every night to watch the sunset. I mean, it's just it. I, you know, just you got to do stuff like that. It, it's it's always nice to do. So. Is, is it you go down and the windows are up? Yep, yep. Windows are up and everything. Don't get out of the car. I go down there in my slippers, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got a can of lights all in the car. Yeah, um, it's like somebody gets out of the car. It's like, oh, watch that person. Make sure they don't come over here. <laughs> you know, I've noticed my that too problem. in the store. I got to tell you, when I go go to the grocery store and I'm getting my stuff, I got my mask on, my gloves on, blah blah blah. And I'm walking by, and there's somebody else that has their, you know, their mask and gloves on. But it's like instead of saying hi to this person, you kind of turn your head away from. <laughs> I see that a lot. I mean, you know, I never did that before. You know, you turn your head, kind of thinking, "Oh God, don't breathe on me." You know, it's like it's just weird. That's just weird to me. But I, I don't know. I was in the store uh, yesterday, and this teenager uh, had picked up some pop, and for some reason decided that she didn't want it. And you notice stuff like that. And you oh, go, yeah, yeah. Is she go cough on it, you know? <laughs> is she just go lick the tops off it? Yeah. You know? I'm not trying to be terrible, but it's like, ooh, okay. She, and she put it back perfectly. Yeah. What have you seen a teenager put anything back perfectly? And yeah. so, 
Yeah, you you notice these things. These well, are just, the things that you watch it. A friend of mine was telling me too the other day that uh, that he we had a him and his wife had a big craving to go to McDonald's and buy you know a, a chocolate malt and you know blah blah blah. So they go there and they get it and they bring their their their, their uh, uh, um, bleach with them and and wipe everything down with bleach. And then he <laughs> says, then the, then the malt kind of lost its flavor because all I could smell was bleach. <laughs> Like, uh, why you, as long as they wiped on everything and didn't mix it. Yeah, right? well, you know, if you, you use those, you know, those little towel things that they got, those things don't smell up everything. But bleach, that's going to smell the whole car up like bleach, you know. So. Yeah, that's yeah. a little but anyway. strong. <laughs> that's a little strong, yeah. That, that's, a, that's a little strong. It's just, you know, common sense. Wash your hands, don't touch your face. Yeah. Uh, you know, stay six feet away from people. Stay educated on this thing, but don't don't go to the point where you're watching the news twenty four seven. Right. It, 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 let me just give you a hint about the news, especially if you watch this Fox, CNN, or MSNBC. It's five minutes worth of news and fifty five minutes of fluff. Yeah, speculation. So yeah, speculation. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's gonna get something so to validate their point. Right. And then, so the local news, I watch the local news, they have a local story. Um, that's more accurate. The one thing that I love about the West Michigan is that the the people from the the local stations have all come together and said, We are going to report the truth and we're gonna report together. And I thought that was nice. Yeah. In other words, we're not gonna compete. We're not going to try to scare the crap out of you. We're just going to report, and we're going to do this together and accurately. And so you you see a lot of people come together and doing stuff, and that's some of the good stuff that you see. And, you know, the other thing you got to put up with <clears throat> now with the new norm is that everybody is videotaping themselves on their phone, you know. So <laughs> it's like... You know, they, they, uh, the news people are doing it now, and it's like, you know, here before they used to have these very expensive cameras and cameramen, and well, they don't have the cameramen anymore. they got to do it themselves, so they stick their little phones up and record themselves, you know, doing a broadcast. So it's it just... Oh, it's, they interview, they got these big, long sticks with the microphone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, you know, which is funny because you may be seven feet away, but you got to break that microphone down. Right, please. right, right. And so... Then you end up thinking, okay, are they, you know, sanitizing that? And, yeah, yeah. And, and, okay, people, get your mind on something else. Right. And just <laughs> take a deep breath. Right. Go watch Young know, Frankenstein. Yeah. Do, do something because go cook. Um, as, as a chef, I did some, you know, I've been, yes, um, and I've been watching movies. I've been trying new recipes. Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. I got some stew cooking right now, by the way, just telling you, you know. You can't have any. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'll be over, man. Yeah, what time yeah. is it going to be on? Yeah, uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave a bowl for you on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and don't you dare come any farther. Yeah, and we'll, we'll make sure to clean it off with, with uh, not Lysol, but uh, Clorox bleach, I think we'll use. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you brought you brought up a, a, another thing. Um, Dan Slickham, I, I, I just got to give him praise. This guy has been making CDs, dropping off CDs, and he's been dropping off food. Like, I made some chili, dropped it off to you. You know, and so we've been going, we've been doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, you know, dropping off food to people. And so it's it's a opportunity to show your best right yeah it is and and here's the opportunity for us to be our best and um um let's stop the political campaigns and arguments for a while i mean the campaigns are going to go on yeah it ain't gonna but the happen. arguments <laughs> you know the arguments let's you know let's focus on how we can better our neighborhood and how we can stop this virus together um if you, this country has always proven itself to be a strong country when we're united and we need to be united and not as and not as divided as we are now yeah yeah well 
I think we're a little bit more together than than we are divided than we were divided uh, before this thing happened. But you know, still it needs to come a long way. So, oh well, remember in nineteen forty one for two when we came together for World War Two. I mean, they were building planes, planes coming out every hour. Yeah, and and so our country is. We can do mighty things. When we put our heads together and start fighting and bickering about things, and that's how we need to be now. Right. Produce the stuff that people need in the hospitals, in homes, and stuff like that. Let's do it here. Let's rethink some things, like why is eighty percent of prescription medicine made in another country, and why is one hundred percent of antibiotics made in one country? Yeah. There should be certain things that are only made in this country. I mean, it's just that way we know it's governed by us. Uh, I mean, there's some thinking, some things, stuff that we need to rethink. And it sounds like you've been doing a lot of law. thinking. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole lot of thinking. Yeah. You know, it's a whole lot of thinking. You know, we were in a uh, church business meeting yesterday on Zoom. And uh, one of the things that you wish that, before this thing that you bought stock in Zoom when they only had like 200 people. Yeah. Now they're at like 800,000 customers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm subscribed to Zoom. I'm still not really sure how to use it all yet, but uh, I think I do. But I keep trying to get the regular, rest of the Talk and Tunes crew to be part of it besides you and me. But everybody seems to be afraid of it or something. I don't know. Well, then it's hard to do anything with a mask on, so people don't know if they can talk to you. And when I get radiation for it, <laughs> right. right. So you don't want to have eight people with a mask on and you get hear everybody muffle, you know. Right. Not enough, you got to listen yeah. to my scratch. Boom, 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 this this thing has really got a lot of people baffled. Yeah. And, and and so you might be seeing a lot of changes on a lot of things. Well, like I said, I could do I could do a uh, we could do a talking tune show in my front yard as far as that goes. I mean, I can set things up where we could have and everybody be six foot apart. But then again, you got to watch about who takes the mics on. I got to clean the mics up, and then got to do. It's like Zoom would be so much easier. But anyway, it eh, doesn't matter. We'll well we'll get. You know by. what? I, I have a I have an easier solution. Everybody brings their own microphone, mic stand, mic cord. Okay, and who has that besides you, me, and Paul? <laughs> uh, well, oh, yeah, no, maybe, I mean, well, I take it back. Uh, uh, Bob Bob would have his own Bob, his own headset. Yeah, yeah, he has his own headset. Yeah. He does have a, I mean, microphone capability. I mean, he's got to be itching right now. He hasn't been able to do any sports forever. I mean, there you go. Oh. He's got to be itching to get back on the radio. Oh, Bob, Bob. Becker, we want you back, man. Bob is going nuts. <laughs> We're going to have to play a PlayStation game and let him call it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> We had to shoot marbles and let. Oh my gosh, let's shoot marbles and let Bob call it. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> and there goes Greg. There goes the G man. <laughs> there, there goes G man with a stealing marble. Can he do it? He's got to go two feet. Will he? Uh, no, I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, it would be great. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to the new norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sir. We- <laughs> I appreciate talking to you. Uh, as always, people love on each other, take care of each other, watch yeah. out, be safe. Hey, you know we got to get we got to figure out a way to get Paul, at least Paul, on Zoom on Zoom too, so at least the three of us can talk, and then you know we'll, we'll see if we can work on work our way from from there. So, well, just uh, do a two way call. I'll do a two way call, and you call us, and uh, we call you. Okay. And then we have all three of us on that line. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, we should do that. So we'll do that next time. Well, let me know so I, I have enough air to, to, to yeah, yeah, I'll talk let you know. over Paul. Hey, I'll 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 uh, I'll message you, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'll text you, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, zoom me, baby. I'll zoom you, zoom. man. I zoom you. <laughs> have your secretary zoom me. <laughs> 
and then you can see your text track and zoom me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, there you go. You, your life isn't complete without being zoomed. Yeah. Uh, at least twice a day <laughs> and three times on Monday. All right, man. You take care of yourself. Take care, people. Give a, give a kiss to Emily for me. And if she still you. allows you to. Uh, like I said, she's out today somewhere. So. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be waiting at the door with a can of lights on with square it out. <laughs> Making me choke here. Okay. You take care. All right, man. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.